us now is Dirk Vandeput, Mondelez CEO at the Milken Conference, where we've seen an increasing number of CEOs. It's good to have you. Thank you. Stocks at an all-time high. Business is doing really well. Is that a is that a recessionary indication because you're defensive and people are always buying snacks, or not because you're getting this great pricing power? Yeah, we've we've been investing in our brands for quite a while and increasing the investment every year. So for me, it's more a reflection of all the work we've been over the previous years that now when the moment comes, we have to price that the consumer has confidence in our brands and has a connection with our brands. And so they keep on buying. The volumes were up this quarter also on top of very good pricing. And that's leading to these, these great results. At Double the digit increases in pricing. Does that continue? Are you going to continue to raise prices? Does it flatline? Does it come down? What happens? Well, we, we're trying to just offset our cost increases. We're not trying to price for percentage margin, just whatever our in input cost goes off, up, we're trying to, to price for that. This year, the increase of the input cost is just the same, same magnitude as it was last year. So we have to go, or we had to go through this pricing increase now. Going forward at this stage, the commodities are flat, slightly down. So I'm not expecting that this will uh, continue in the coming months and the beginning of next year. But the year is still long. We'll see what happens to commodity prices. That's what I was trying to figure out, if the pricing growth in some of these packaged food companies is outpacing what's happening with costs. Because costs should be coming down. We've seen disinflation in a lot of parts of the economy. Yes, yes. But it's a mixture. For instance, in chocolate, cocoa is at an all-time high. That's only happening uh, this year while it wasn't there last year. Transportation is coming down, but wages are up. And so it's a whole mix of input costs, and some are uh, at their all-time high and big increases this year, while others versus last year are a little bit lower as it relates to increase. What do you see from the U.S. consumer? Because it's interesting that even with the strong pricing growth, you haven't seen volumes fall. No, the U.S. consumer is feeling confident. Uh, also, the European consumer is getting better. Um, I think they keep on prioritizing food. Um, and you can clearly see that, of course, in the, in the offtake, all food companies are doing well. Um, I think they've cut down on other things like travel, eating out, and so on. But overall, you see the spending. Uh, the consumer is not faced by the situation. I personally believe it's because we came out of the pandemic, they had good savings. They felt like, well, if life is going to be miserable, I, I just want to live well and, and do what I need to do. I think that's really a sentiment with the and consumer. And somehow Oreos fit into that. Yeah, <laughs> Oreo fits in there because during the pandemic, they needed moments to sort of regain a little bit of confidence, feel good. They got into the habit, and now uh, more and more consumers are saying a little indulgent moment every day has to be part of my day to day. What are you seeing on the ground in China since the reopening? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Things are, are improving very rapidly. Our business was uh, good even during the, the lockdown, but you can feel the confidence coming back. Mobility is going up. Uh, it's clearly, uh, we saw it in the first quarter, and I'm expecting it in the coming quarters that China will, will come back. So what is it going to take, Dirk, to get global food inflation to come down? It sounds like you don't see it happening very fast. Well, I would say um, for last year and this year, the commodities went up the same amount, more or less, for us. For next year, we don't see that yet. They would be currently, if we look at the forward pricing, they're flat to slightly down from where they are today. So I do hope if it stays like that, maybe comes down a little bit more, that the beginning of next year, we don't have to see these big in prices, price increases that we just saw this year. That's what I think is going to happen.